Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Lion Icon Balloon tutorial. So, another Lion Icon in Inkscape. Good for beginners. Let's get straight into it. So I've got these two boxes up here. This is purely for proportional reasons, so I get the right proportions. Um, we have a canvas with 1920 by 180 full HD and two colors on the right hand side which be used in the graphic. I saw this icon some time ago, I'm not sure I remember who, who did this icon but um, I liked it so I said I'm going to recreate it in Inkscape and also you know use it for the animation. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing I'm going to do is create the main part of the balloon going to make a circle so I'm just duplicating this circle that I had already here let's make it blue and I want the circle to be roughly the size of this box good yeah I think roughly the size of this box good and let's just get it in a bit and we're just gonna stretch it a bit on the y-axis so we have something like this and let's go ahead and make a, another box here to fit the size of this box right here and we're going to pull it down and just make it a bit rounded good have it so that it stretches about here so now that the proportions are correct i'm just going to go ahead and select these two and carry them down and i'm just going to hold control and shift and scale pull out with the directional buttons uh, with the directional arrows here to scale up good next I'm just gonna go ahead and activate the Bezier tool and we're gonna draw a line here yeah, about here I want it good and stretch this out a bit more and have it here and I'm just gonna go ahead and select these two to get the straight Bezier line I held control while I drew and we're just gonna go path and division and delete this division part right here good and then with this this makes up I think the major part of the balloon head awesome and we can just pull these down to compensate for the loss in curvature cool and for this one now I'm going to use a bezier tool also and we're just going to sever the top with path and division both of them selected and delete them out. It's a bit blue. Let's see if I can change the color so you can see a bit better. And we have these two shapes right here, which are the main shapes of our balloon. Cool. So we have these two shapes right here. Let's go ahead and create the bag shapes. So for that, I'm just going to use the ellipse tool, to create a circle. I'm going to hit Control Shift and C, or I'm going to change it to a path. So it's an object. I'm going to change it to a path with object to path. Good. Then it's going to go ahead and select this piece, select these pieces right here. We're going to change these two nodes. So to go into node mode, I just double click, or you can just press F2 or go to the node editor right here. And in the node editor to control box, we're going to go ahead and make sure we select these two nodes. I'm going to change these two nodes from curve nodes or smooth nodes to corner nodes. And what we're going to do for this, we're going to change this from a smooth node to a automatic or symmetric, symmetric smooth node. So let's change it to that. So when we pull one handle, the other handle also moves. Awesome. Get something like this. Good. And the last part now is that we're going to change this from a smooth node to a corner node and just bring down these handles a little bit. Good. Awesome. So we get something that looks like that. And we can always carry these down to sort of just more of a sort of water droplet shape. Yeah. I think that's about right good so with the shape now we're just going to go ahead and put this here let's make it blue stretch it out awesome 
Awesome. So we have our bag shape here. We're gonna draw one here and one here. Good. Let's put this underneath, put these underneath. And let's increase all of them together. So this is in the middle, it's underneath, and this underneath. Excellent. So the next part of it now is that we want a circle on the top. I'm just going to duplicate this and. Oh, we can just leave it like this. Don't have to separate it. Good. Then I'm going to duplicate this balloon here and just hold the side arrow and scale in. Let's use a different color so we can see it. And uh, we get something like this. Good. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create some rectangles here. So I'm just going to select the oblong rectangle tool and draw some rectangles. I have my snap tool on and it's assisting me now so you don't have to have it on but like how it's on it's useful in this purpose but most times I would just turn it off you know okay all right this is looking fairly good see if we can sort of just scale in this balloon a bit so that it let's take off the snap tool now and scale it in so that we can see how it's operating awesome and let's just get rid of this here okay so our balloon is basically taken shape got a couple things that we need to do though let's go ahead and squash it a bit yep. and bring this circle down a bit awesome good could do coming in a bit more awesome and let's just pull these down to round it a bit more cool and then we can go ahead and just add go ahead and add the stroke to these and let's go and we're going to go to the fill and stroke dialog box so let's hit Control shift and f or you can go to object and Fill and stroke, which is supposed to be somewhere at the top, right? Then we're going to go to stroke, paint tab, select this blue, and I'm going to go and go to the stroke style tab now. And we're going to set millimeters, I'm going to put it to 2.2, that's a bit small. Let's put it to say 3, still a bit small. Okay, let's check what this one was. In my example, I think I used 3.46. So let's try 3.5. Yeah, that looks about right. Didn't want the connectors to be strokes. All right, and we can see how the balloon has taken shape. We want it to have the dark color stroke. Let's get the color and paste it here. So I know which color it is. I think I forgot to add this color to the mix. Okay, so I forgot to add that blue to the color circles here. Let's just go ahead and add it quickly. Cool. All right, so the balloon's main parts are done. Just need to add some colors. The colors that we had chosen and let's pull these up a bit don't think these this was meant to be so wide good and you'll have the time to sort of go in and tweak it the way you want to but this is the basics but the next part that we want to do just bring this up next part that we want to do so I want to go ahead and shade this balloon of ours this as the blue so I'm just going to get the bezier tool and just draw some arcs and some waves so B activates the bezier tool 
or you can go to the Bezier tool right here, which I think is Shift F6. Yep, and we're just going to create some waves here, just by our hand. Nothing too complicated here for the shadow. Good, and it's just F. Go to the fill and stroke dialog box and play about with some of these things here. Um, and set Q. Good. So I'm just going to duplicate this blue here and remove the fill. And put a darker blue here and put a darker blue for this here so that we have the shadow and let's add duplicate this and remove the fill so we're just going to go and press this x here to remove the fill good so that the stroke goes over the shadow and last but definitely not least we're going to add the balloon highlight which is this blue but a lighter color so we're going to fill a stroke dialog box and it's pulling on the lightness value. In the same way, I went here and pulled on the lightness value to make a shadow. Good. And let's add a circle. Awesome. So I think there's one more. Let's add right here. And we're going to put use a dropper tool with D, select this blue and just lighten up that blue. Good. And we have ourselves our line icon balloon. If you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. You know, great little starter tutorial for this line icon balloon. Very, very simple to do. Good. And any sorts of suggestions or um, instructive feedback you know I, I appreciate that I don't presume to know all things and I'm happy every time that you add information in the comment section I know when I was searching Inkscape tutorials comments really helped so I know comments help in uh, making the information easier to understand so feel free to put your comments there I appreciate that you know once they're constructive so until I see you again with another Inkscape tutorial get on and design a new door. Later.